in this lecture we will do some more problems on uh, fourier transform which came in gate 2014 for one more a real valued signal x of t limited to the frequency band mod f less than or equal to omega by 2 is passed through a linear time invariant system whose frequency response is h of s is given like this the output of the system is there. so we have to go like this so x of t is there there is a system lta system which is having some h of t so what is the y of t we need to measure we know the formula of y of t is equal to x of t convolved with y of t if you use Fourier transform y of f is equal to x of f into y of sorry this is h of t so we will get h of f now what is x of f is given it is band limited to minus w by 2 to w by 2 that is i can go like this so i don't know what is this so but i can go for minus w2 by w2 and uh, h of f is also given minus w2 to w by 2 it is e power minus j into 4 pi f now i can take y of f is nothing but x of f into my into so it is given like this e power minus j 4 pi f both are band limited to the same uh, limits so multiplication also you will get minus w2 to w by 2 so x of f into e power minus j into 4 pi f now what is this uh, meaning is y of f is equal to x of f into e power minus j into 4 pi f so if i know x of t what is the Fourier transform x of f now to get x of f into e power minus j into 4 pi f i need to shift this x of t by if I assume like this what is the Fourier transform x of f into e for minus j into 2 pi into f naught f naught is not nothing but 2 into f so what is this minus j into 2 pi into 2 so minus j 4 pi f is this so what is the option we will get so anyway these two are not we can directly eliminate because to get minus i need minus only so it this are not the it can be this or it can be this if it is minus 4 we will get minus 8 here so if there is a 2 i will get minus j into 2 pi into 2 f so the option d is the correct answer right whenever there is system function is given we will multiply with these two in the frequency domain then we can see this limits as y of f is equal to x of f into e power minus j 4 pi f to get this one what should be x of or y of t is equal to nothing but y x of t minus 2 next problem we will do is like this it came in gate 2006 for one more x of t if it is x of j omega the Fourier transform what is the Fourier transform of x of phi t minus 3 now by uh, there is a two methods for this so the easy method one is like this first i will do x of t minus 3 i will i will remove the 5 so first i will do the shifting so x of t minus 3 if i do x of j omega is like this only but the shifting e for minus j omega into t naught so t naught is 3 now if i do again scaling 5 t minus 3 so we know that x of a t what is the Fourier transform is 1 by mod a x of omega by a so 1 by 5 into e power minus j omega is this omega 5 and j into omega 5 so this is the answer so this is the first way the second way is take the phi common so t minus 3 by 5 so first again we will do with the shifting of t minus 3 by 5 which is j omega into 3 by 5 then if we do scaling so 5 of t minus 3 by 5 so only we have to do with the omega term that is j omega 5 by so or 1 by omega so, right so this is the one we have to do like this or if i taken 5 t minus 3 by 5 so what i will do is first i will do the scaling so what is the scaling x of j into omega by 5 by 1 by 5 if I do now shifting that is t minus 3 by 5 so what is we will get e power minus j into omega into t naught so t naught is 3 by 5 so this is also correct so that is why these properties of the scaling and shifting property we need to use here now one more question came 
x of t, the Fourier transform is x of f. If Fourier transform is x of 3f plus 2, what is x of t? Again, the scaling as well as shifting. So, if I take x of 3 common, f plus 2 by 3. Right? Now, we can take first x of 3f, then we can shift the 2 by 3. So, to get x of 3f from x of t, so what is is required is scaling factor suppose x see we need to get 3 into f so x of t by 3 should be there so x of t by 3 means 1 by 1 by 3 into x of f by 1 by 3 so what is this 3 into x of 3f so but in the exam i mean in the question he is given x into 3f so i don't require 3 so it will become 1 by 3 into x of t by 3 is nothing but x of 3f but i need a f of f plus 2 by 3 now to get a shifting what we need to do 1 by 3 into x of t by 3 into e4 minus j into 2 pi into f naught or omega naught so so omega naught is what we need to do we need 3 here so so t by 3 so we need 2 by 3 so t naught we should place 2 by 3 into t so what i will get x of 3 into f plus 2 by 3 so what is this minus j into 2 pi so it is like the e4 minus j 2 pi f naught into t so what is the f naught is so x of f plus f naught so f naught is required 2 by 3 so i have to place 2 by 3 is this so this is how to do the either scaling and shifting properties next it is came in k 2014 for two marks the value of the integral minus infinity to infinity sinc square phi t dt the moment you see the i mean integration like this square we should get energy in mind minus infinity to infinity x of t square dt by partial relationship what is this 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity 1 by or mod x of j omega whole square d omega if I know what is this x of t from this expression I can take sinc 5t so sinc square means x of square t now if I find the Fourier transform of x of t I can find the energy is very simple now sinc t I can write sine pi t that is phi t by pi into phi t now if I rearrange this so 1 by 5 I take common sine 5 pi t by pi t this is again the uh, form of sine w t by pi t the what is the Fourier transform of this signal it is nothing but minus w2 that is minus phi pi to phi pi in, in, in this, the omega domain what is the magnitude this is 1 but here is 1 by 5 so what is the magnitude 1 by 5 so this is the Fourier transform so I can take again minus phi pi to phi pi omega what is this 1 by 5 is the this one now i can now take the energy that is minus 5 pi pi what is the formula 1 by 2 pi 5 pi by 2 pi pi into mod of x of omega whole square so which is nothing but 1 by 5 whole square into d omega so 1 by 2 pi into 1 by 25 into so omega we will get minus 5 pi to 5 pi which is nothing but 10 pi so pi pi cancel 2 5s 10 so 5 5s what is the resultant 1 by 5 is the final answer right so we have solved two three problems or four problems in this uh, video now you try in uh, previous gate problems by this either using properties or using Parsifal's theorem and uh, you have to solve one I will give one question if it is a triangular function like this minus t to t if it is like this a what is the Fourier transform of this signal and if you multiply two signals here into some two signals minus t by 2 to t by 2 minus t by 2 to t by 2 so what is the Fourier transform of these signals also you can try and uh, you remember these values then it is very useful in a uh, gate exam 
what is the triangular signal fourier transform as well as if you multiply two rectangular signals what is the fourier transform etc right so i hope i covered some uh, i mean maximum uh, concept in fourier transform if i miss something you may ask in uh, or you may comment on this below this video right thank you